Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to change your normal home screen on your NVIDIA Shield TV. So from this, the stock launcher on the NVIDIA Shield TV, which has limited functionality, to this, a custom TV launcher with widgets, which has got the ability to create sections, so you can organize your apps, making them easier to find. You've got full control of how your home screen looks, including the ability to change the size of the icons and widgets on screen. Now don't worry, you can also switch back to your stock launcher at the flick of a switch. So if this tickles your bell, keep on watching. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So let's take a closer look at what you're getting with this launcher. Okay, so the main thing is we're getting widgets on the NVIDIA Shield home screen. And with that comes the ability to interact with those widgets. We're also getting the time and date in the top menu bar. As you would with your phone, you just simply click on the widget and up pops the app. And of course what you see here can be updated in the settings of the app. Now we can update what we see here by clicking on an empty space in the widget section. And from the menu we can select pick widget and we can select our widget. And there we go, a new variation of the same information. Now of course we're not just limited to weather widgets, you can add news, stocks, basically any app that has a widget. Now the other great thing with this launcher is we can create sections for different apps. Like here I've got a news section. And we can also group our apps together by creating folders and putting them in there. So clicking anywhere in the app section brings up a menu and we just select create folder. And from here, just give it a name. I'm going to call mine tools. Now you've got the option here to password protect the folder. So if there's anything you want to hide, just use that option. And then just click apply. Okay, so we can see our tools folder has been created. Long pressing on an icon will bring up this menu and then you just select move to folder. And currently there's only one folder created. Now if you had created more folders, they would show up here. So I'm going to select this and you'll see the app move into the folder. I'm also going to move this input viewer into the tools folder. So same process, long press and select move to folder and select tools. So taking a quick look in the tools folder, we'll see we've got our two apps that we just moved. Now the other cool thing we can do is move our apps around to organize them. So I've created a section called news. I'm going to move this BBC iPlayer to that section. Again, long pressing will bring up the menu, so we simply select move to section and select news. And we get the message it's been moved successfully. And if we take a quick scroll down, you can see it's there in the news section. Now we can also change the way our icons look on the home screen. Just long press on the icon and bring up the menu and just select configure. And you can see we've got a load of options here. I'm particularly fond of the border radius option, which lets you change the shape of your icons, giving you that curved rounded look. Now there's a few other cool things you can do with this launcher. Just long press to get the menu up again. And scroll down and select launcher settings. Click on the sections and then manage sections. So from here you can manage the look of your home screen by moving around the sections. So as an example, I'm going to move around my sections and then show you the result. I've got my widget section, then the news and then application sections. And I'm going to create a new section. And I think I'll call it games. Click on apply and then close. So now looking at my home screen, you can see I've got my widgets on the top, my news section, then my application section, and then the newly created game section, which is empty. Now another cool thing I want to show you is how to change the home screen wallpaper. So just bring up the menu, scroll down to launcher settings and select wallpaper. Now I've used the download app to download some wallpapers from the internet. So all my wallpapers will be in the downloader folder. As you can see, I've chosen to go for a NVIDIA look. All you do is select it and it automatically will change the background. Just give it a few seconds and it will change eventually. And as you can see, it extends to fill up the whole screen. It really is as simple as that. Now another cool thing we can do is scale the size of the widgets so we can get more content on screen. Simply bring up the menu, select scale, and then you can just scale the widget. Now after all this, you might be thinking, how do I get to my main settings on my NVIDIA Shield? Simply long press on the home screen, bring up the menu, and click Android settings. And there you go, you're back to your main settings of the Android TV. Another cool thing we can do is hide individual apps on the home screen. Just bring up the main menu, select launcher settings and select hidden apps. And from here you just highlight the apps you want to hide from the home screen. And just like that BBC iPlayer disappears from the home screen. And the last thing I want to show you is how you can update your status bar information. Just select status bar from the settings menu and it will bring up another box. And from here you just click on and off what you want shown on the status bar. Simple as that. So what do we need to get this new launcher installed on our NVIDIA Shield TV? Well, we're going to need to download three files. And to download these files, we're going to use the Downloader app, which is available on the App Store. Now, once you've installed it and opened it up, enter the following address to get the first file. And then press Enter and wait for it to download. And when it asks you to confirm Install, just click on Install. You can now click on Done. 
And now because we've already installed the file, we can delete it now. So click on delete. Now onto the second file we want to download. Enter the following address and click on OK. And it's basically the same process. You wait for it to download. Click on install and then click on done and then delete. Now we're on the final stretch. We need to download one more file. So enter the following address and press go. And as before, we click on install, wait for it to install, and then we can delete the file once we've finished. Okay, so we've downloaded and installed three applications. So if we go to our applications folder and find the first one, it's called settings, it's got a cog on it. Click on it to open, and we'll get the following screen. Now this application will just disable the stock launcher. If we click on disable stock launcher, we're gonna get the following message. We need to enable network debugging. So click on open ADB settings, and you'll get the developer options. Now a quick side note here, you will need to have setup developer options to show up. It's quite straightforward to set up. You go into settings and about, scroll down and find the build number and tap on it several times. You should get a message telling you that developer options have been enabled. Okay, now back to the job at hand. So scroll all the way down to debugging and click on network debugging. This will enable network debugging. Now come all the way back out and back to the launch manager. Now if you click on Disable Stock Manager, it should work and you'll get the following message. Click on Always Allow from this computer and click OK. Now if we click on Disable Stock Launcher, it will automatically default to the installed launcher, which in our case is the one we downloaded and installed earlier. And here it is guys, the Wolf Launcher. As you can see we've got our row of applications. There is of course no widgets or section set up at the moment. So let's try and install a widget. If we go to Pick Widget and let's select this widget here. Ah, we get the following message. So we need to follow the following steps to set up widgets. Now it's saying set up ADB access to your device. Now to do this, we're going to go back to our home screen and open up the third application we downloaded and installed. And that is, of course, Remote ADB Shell. Now this one we're not going to find as easily as the other two. We need to go to Settings, Apps, select See All Apps, and you should find it near the bottom somewhere. And there it is, Remote ADB Shell. So select it and open it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is type in the IP address of your NVIDIA Shield TV. Now you will need to find out the IP address of your NVIDIA Shield. Now the next field, we just leave it as it is. Click on Connect, and select Always from this computer, and OK. Now here we need to type the following command to get widgets working on our NVIDIA Shield TV. Once you've typed all that in, just press Enter. And if you don't get any error messages, it's worked. And we can come straight out of there, back to the home page. Now from here, if we go to Apps and open the Launcher Manager and select Disable Stock Launcher. Now, quick side note here, if you want to go back to your Stock Launcher, just enable Stock Launcher from this application. Okay, back to the tutorial. And then click on the Home button to go back to the Home page. So that's it guys, we should now have widgets up and running. So like I showed you earlier, you can set up your Home page with widgets and custom wallpaper. In all, it took me about 5 minutes to get it looking the way I wanted, with my custom widgets, sections and icons. Anyway guys, that's my take on how to set up a custom launcher on the NVIDIA Shield TV with widgets. As usual guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and maybe even a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.